On today's debauchery, we've got Just Stop Oil causing once again more problems than solutions. Go figure. These people are really stupid. They've decided that due to the world not listening to their crazy antics, that they should continue with their most recent of escapades, that being dealing with the Stonehenge. Because why actually go against the people who fund them? Which, uh, for those who don't know, they're funded by the oil giants of the world. I isn't that crazy though? The Just Stop Oil activists are funded by big oil. That makes complete sense. Yeah. The people that want to put these big oil companies out of business are the same companies that are funding the activists to stop them. So, uh, let us dive into the orange color jam. That is the Just Stop Oil's recent move with defacing Stonehenge. You know, the stone structure is somehow in correlation with big oil. You know, the stone structure that has been here for way before the industrial age. That is the big problem of the world. Stone doing absolutely nothing except for being a worldly phenomenon. Can I just say that I can't wait until these people die of lung cancer from breathing in all the paint fumes? Uh, rude, though I have to say that it is probably just some non-toxic stuff. Fuck. But I am with you. These people are nothing but a great annoyance, and worse is that all of their antics do is just cause more oil to be used. You know, the same oil that comes from Big Oil, which once again, Big Oil is funding these people. I, I would almost think that the organization is actually from Big Oil if it wasn't for me losing hope in humanity to use their brains. So I, I don't even know at this rate. But, uh, yeah, let us watch that clip right now. Like, I just have to ask at this rate, what is next? The pyramids? The Eiffel Tower? I honestly just think that they like shooting their own foot because nobody takes them seriously. I don't think there is anyone who doesn't just see them as a roadblock that should be driven over at this rate. Like, I'm not advocating for that to actually happen. I am. But what I am advocating for is that something should be happening against them except for fines. They're supported by Big Oil because Big Oil gets more money in return for these people doing this. So the fines aren't going to do anything because Big Oil gets paid more for them being on the street. They're stupid yet think that we are the ones with our ears covered and being ignorant. It is an insane thought process that they have. Oh, I know what'll get the people to agree with us. Let's deface something that has quite literally nothing to do with fossil fuels. But then they film it on their phones that were made with oil and spray that paint with canisters that were made in oil and then wear shirts that the organization made that were, let us say it together, made in oil oil but no defacing something that has quite literally nothing to do with oil is more impactful than going against the people who fund them like do they not think it's weird that the people they're against are the same people funding them i honestly have no idea gerald i just put them all into this stupid category they glue their hands glue that was made with oil and then use cans of soup that were made with oil, stop traffic, which a lot of drivers don't know to not idle their cars because they're just wasting fuel. So then they're just causing more fuel and oil to be used up. They're just f***ing stupid and should be bent over in a prison cell. That's my opinion. Why the bent over part? Well, if they're going to bend people's bank accounts over by making people have to pay more in fuel, 
then I think that they should be put into a cell that way they get the people's pounding. So instead of it being the people's elbow, it is the people's ass pounding? Yup, should get the rock on that one. Maybe he's cooking someone's ass, who knows. I just really don't like them. They claim to be against oil, yet work in exact contradiction to that statement. So they're either really stupid, which is what I'm personally thinking, or they are actually pro-oil, because they once again get paid to be nuisances by the big oil companies, which in turn, the big oil companies just make more money. <sighs> what do you think, Gerald? Do you think they're stupid or pro-oil? Oh, well, aside from my earlier statement of being bent over in a cell, I think that they're pro-oil because I would really hate to actually believe that people can be this stupid. I think you would be amazed to learn about the truth. That being that people are just this stupid. I have hope in humanity. Oh, I do too. But it is always the dumbest people who are the loudest. And these people are doing some pretty big acts of stupidity. But anywho. If you want to learn about how to not be a mistake in society, then you should learn the rules of living in truth, honesty, critical thinking, reliability, and self-control, and consistency with your words and actions. You know, if you say you're against oil, then have your actions repeat that statement. Be a reliable person with your word, so that people don't think you're just a flimsy stick in the mud changing direction every time the wind blows the other direction. And that is pretty sound advice for not being hated by the whole world. But anyway, have a good one.